I'm going to show you how to sell and buy BNB on Binance, send it over to your MetaMask using the correct network. Uh, once you get it over to your MetaMask, I'm going to teach you how to get it back to Binance if you make some money, um, and we'll go from there. So on Binance, make sure you have BNB in your, uh, you know, your Binance US wallet. If you don't, you could just buy some via credit or debit card, or you could buy it on a different exchange, send it over, and you will have it here. So when you go to withdraw, you will want to open up your Binance plugin. Make sure you have the Binance Chain Network toggled. Not the Binance Smart Chain, but the Binance Chain Network. You will copy that address, paste it in. The plugin does not require a memo, and you'll click Max. Once you click Max, or you, you could select whatever amount you want to send over to uh, your MetaMask. So here I'm just putting in point 0.1 because I'm, that's how much I'm going to pretend to send. So you click send and it will arrive in your Binance plugin if you have uh, Binance chain network enabled. And there you go, point 0.1 BNB. Next, you want to make sure you have Binance smart chain enabled, set up, and configured on your Binance plugin. If you use MetaMask, you will definitely remember how to do that. It's a simple lookup. Copy that address, paste it, and there's not going to be a memo. So for this, you will just click, uh, you know, Max or however many you want to send. Click Send. It's important to note that this is a transfer from the BNB. Binance Chain Network over to the Binance Smart Chain Network. Um, and this will make sure it is configured from a BEP2, BEP20 coin over to an ERC20 Ethereum uh, coin. As the Binance Smart Chain is a network or a fork from Ethereum. So it looks like it was sent over. We have 0.3 now, which we originally had 0.2 in the Binance Smart Chain Network wallet. We will come over to the MetaMask, which is our final resting destination. You will definitely make sure you have Binance Smart Chain mainnet clicked on. Um, you will click the address on top where you want to send it to. Head back over to your Binance plugin. Click send. Make sure you're sending it from the Binance Smart Chain. Click max or however much you want to send. If you have an error such as insufficient BNB balance, just you know toggle it down a little bit or file it down, as there is going to be a fee. So I'll just click max or point three. Okay, so from here, it's going to send over to the MetaMask. It shouldn't take long at all. And then from here, you could go do whatever you want. You could send it over on to PancakeSwap, buy some coins or tokens that come out every single day. Um, you should all be set. So once it arrives, we will see. Give it a little refresh. And boom, 0.3 BNB sent over from Binance US to MetaMask. Binance Smart Chain Network. Originally, this coin started off as a BNB token on the BEP2 slash BNB chain, um, but it, then it was transferred over to the 0x address Ethereum fork, Binance Smart Chain. So, if we want to send it back over to Binance US, let's just say you made a lot of money on Pancake Swap, you bought a coin, you want to just make sure you have your Binance deposit address all ready to go. This is probably a tr the most tricky part because a lot of people have messed up in the past including myself. Um, so make sure you have BEP2 clicked on. There was an ERC20 option but so many people lost millions of dollars including myself 
not millions myself, but um, I lost 7.4 BNB because I sent it over to the wrong chain um, from the BNB address over to an ERC20 0x address, Ethereum. But so that they took it out completely. So many people lost too much money. So, as you see there, so we need to convert it over to BNB. As you can see there, it's a 0x address. Grab your MetaMask. Open up your Binance plugin. Make sure you have Binance Smart Chain enabled. This is like the pivot point. If you ever want to do stuff, you have to make sure you have your Binance plugin where you're going to just, uh, you know, use as the parking garage to change it over from ERC20 over to BNB. So I just copied that address, the, uh, the Binance Smart Chain address, and I'm going to send it over however much. Click Send. Okay. As you can see, it is sending from an, a 0x address to another 0x address. From there, we want to convert that 0x to a the, the BNB so it becomes a true BEP2 coin. Open that back up. It should have arrived. There we go. So now is the converting point in time. We want to make sure you have the Binance Chain Network selected, which is where we're gonna, you know, just send it over. This is the voiceover, so if the voice doesn't match up perfectly, then there you go. But this is just purely educational, so you don't lose money like I did. 7.4 BNB. Alright, so I guess I'm just explaining again how important this is not to send it from... Not to try to deposit uh, coins from a 0x address over to a BNB address. Um, so, uh, select Binance Smart Chain... Uh, Binance Chain Network, copy that address, and then send it your BNB from the smart chain over to the regular chain. Click max. If there is an error saying, you know, too many decimals, just erase some of the decimals. And if you have, if you have another error saying insufficient BNB balance, just change how much you're sending because there are going to be fees. The fees can range anywhere from ten cents over, you know, to a dollar, if the Ethereum, uh, if the BNB amount is very large. Here I get a little scared because this is zero 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 x, but then it changed over to the BNB. I believe that's where it's bridging and it's changing it over which is why this is so cool. Usually you can't transfer ERC20 BNB over to the uh, chain network without some kind of bridge. So that's what it's doing, I believe. All right, so now we're just gonna wait for it to arrive. I'm gonna refresh the page, I believe, pretty soon, and then it should arrive. From that point on, we're gonna send it over to the Binance.us, the exchange, and we're gonna see how we can sell it for cash. There we go. 0 0.03 BNB, $10.17. So from here, we're going to just find the BEP20 address, or the BEP2 address on Binance.us. Make sure you have the address copied, but not the memo, because you cannot click out of this once you click send. If you do, you'll just lose your progress. So I recommend just memorizing or writing down your memo. Um, so write it down exactly how it is. This one here says 10229 but I have a error which emphasizes the point of double checking. So I section it off in fours. 922, and I'm like, oh, there we go. There's only one two. 
If I sent it over like that with the wrong memo, I would have definitely lost my coins. It, this one's only $10, but if I sent it over with, say, $100,000, which is an everyday occurrence for some people, because crypto is just life-changing, then um, you'll just lose $100,000. I see it every single day on Reddit. So I believe I checked out, I clicked out by accident, and I just lost my progress this point in time I'm just going over very carefully and slowly the correct memo send so if you guys have any questions just leave them in the comments I have my um, my notifications on so you just comment if you have any questions I could try to help you out because I've been through the ringer I've done this so many times and it's just uh, it's quite the headache you know if you send over 7.4 BNB to the wrong network um, I could tell you about that while we wait but here we're just going to wait for the BNB to arrive and if you do send it to the wrong network which I don't think is allowed anymore because Binance took out that ERC20 deposit option you have to contact them. It's going to take months. Um, I, I just reached the point in time where I have to pay a fee. And they're going to go try to return that over to me, to my address of my liking. Make sure you have all that correct. And now we wait. Refresh the page. And there we go. So we just sent the uh, BNB from Binance to the Binance plugin to MetaMask, back to the Binance plugin, and back to Binance. So now we're going to sell it for some cash. Let's click the market or limit order. Market is a lot easier because uh, it just sells at what the market is at now. Click the sell option, click 100% if you want to sell all of it, and just click sell BNB. Me, I don't want to. I'm going to probably just send it back to my MetaMask with some fees. So I paid for this video. You guys better like. I lost some money. Because, <laughs> you know, you pay fees. Alright, so that's it, guys. Um, good luck.